Hey, this is not a spring chicken. Did you realize there's, wait a minute, what's the date today? There's less than 10 shopping days. Oh, wait, eight shopping days till Christmas, so it's well underway. Meanwhile, at the theaters, we just came back from Mission Impossible, the IMAX version, Ghost Protocol. Oh, yes, and it's at the box office. Fabulous, but I think it stomped all over Sherlock Holmes by coming out a week early. Meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Kim on with comments on the headline. I did have a full battery, so... I know, can you believe this? Isn't this a gorgeous day? And while we're here today, you're going to see some a few things that are a little bit different. Of course, Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol. Mission Possible? Well, Mission Improbable. I mean, they, they, everything done in 40 hours of time. Yeah, but you know what? It does give you a lot of action, adrenaline, for adrenaline junkies, rush, action thriller. There's nothing like it. I just wish we could have seen it in 3D. Yeah, which is probably going to end up in. And Obama faults the GOP lurch into extremes. I know. The guy is basic. Okay, he got his ass kicked on the budget bill. And he's so... They, uh, nobody knows why he start, decided to stage a battle to begin with. He staged a battle, lost on every front, and uh, didn't get his taxes, got cuts. And uh, so they, they figured but he's going to win the presidency on, on his... Uh, on his attacking and against the Republicans as being extremist. And White House stands by the Medal of Honor award. Well, you know, since uh, the trick is other people put the guy up for it and Congress approves it. The president didn't do anything about that. The president does not put people up for awards. Congress of the United States gives you the Medal of Honor, not the president, nor the military. Well, that's good. So then they're going to stand by it. Republicans muscle the tax cut bill through the House. Yeah, and uh, they're, they're, you know, they, they, the Senate is basically, what they did was they gave in because senators um, that wanted to get, you know, they basically, they're running for their lives because of the Obama presidency. Uh, we're going to cave in and give the Republicans what they wanted, so the president decided to call a halt to it. They're going to they're gonna have a two-week, two uh, two-month delay in their extension of the uh, of the bet, his tax cuts for the so-called working people, because uh, what's going to happen is they've decided to only uh, expend it for two months, and then at that two months they'll come back and talk again. So. And no cell phones, no texting by drivers in U.S. urges. Well, they're not only urged; they're going to make it a requirement now to drive on federal any any road that has uh, federal money, which is all of them are going to be told that they can no longer have cell phones and television, no cell phones, radios, anything like that are going to be forbidden. No radios? That, um, I would assume that means no navigation. Either. No, nav nothing that can make, nothing that can distract you from the thing, which is funny, so. But the big yeah, boats are out today. Yeah. And Ron Paul gains ground, further stirring Republicans. Oh, he, uh, Ron Paul is never going to get, Ron Paul is going to go become an, uh, an independent or a libertarian candidate. Whichever one the Huntsman isn't going to field, he's going to become one, of, going to become that. And so. Ron Paul gains ground, oh, yeah. oh, analysis, can Zinga break free from Facebook? Well, okay, they started out uh, with everybody that invested in the company previously losing four dollars a share on everything that they'd already previously owned. Oh, really? So it's a bad. People lost a fortune today on their <laughs> on, <laughs> on their IPO, which was a disaster. And Syrian troops storm Hamas break anti-Assad strike. Well, yeah. Well, because what happens is, is that when you're in a dictatorship and, and you're the and you're head of the military, you have a tendency to keep the peace. Military chapter in Iraq draws to a close. Well, I know, and no, it doesn't because we're going to have to, uh, the United States is going to have to go back in probably in four or five months because uh, the uh, Iranians are going to just simply sweep over a lot of the country. Oh, really? And basically, what, what Obama did was took a war that basically was a cool war, and now he's getting ready to make it hot because I promised the people by this time, it is amazing. That the, by the time that he had promised in his last election, the American troops would be out. They're all going to be out, even though nobody wants uh, wants everybody out. They wanted to leave a, a strike force behind, and Obama's even taking a strike force out. And Germans are both called for each of the asked after someone. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> never in a zillion years. And Democrats way dropping millionaire tax proposals. Yeah, they they said they are going to do it. 
They are? Uh, yeah, well, because they can't, you know, I'm being pressed up against. And Obama just leaving Iraq with heads. I'm not moving high. sideways. I'm just sitting there trying to get the camera, camera position. What did you say? Obama, troops leaving Iraq with heads held high. No, they're not. They're running from the field of battle. They all know they're running from the field of battle. They got these. What is with all the tour ships out today? This is Friday, folks. I don't know. And it is oh, not holiday high. parties, maybe? But there's a lot of tour ships. I mean, that's the third one that parked over there since we got in. I know, especially, in. this is lunchtime. Uh, well, there's three of them already. There's one going out, two to coming in. And then over on this side, this big one over there is just going in, so... Democrats, um, oh yeah, we already know that. Romney intensifies criticism of Cambridge. Which basically they have, they're telling them to, to quit it. Oh, we got the police helicopters above us now too, because uh, they said basically you're giving, uh, what's his name, Obama ammunition. You know, okay, first of all, nobody wants any of the Republican candidates. I mean, they do not want Romney, they do not want Genrich, and they're not going to, if, if they have a floor battle, which they possibly could have. I love this. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to wrap up the, the wrap up what is needed as early as they thought, but they will get it wrapped up before the convention so there's no floor battle. Well, a floor battle is the only way you're going to get anybody elected this year, folks. And Indonesia investigates videotaped beheadings of farmers. Well, yeah, they put it on. They put it out on the internet. The Are you serious? Yeah, well, it's basically you, I mean, the internet will publish anything as long as it's violent enough. Mm. Batman saw wrapped up a bit to visit Chinese activists. Oh, you don't think that isn't phony as can be? Well, the guy got static for um, for making a film that's a Chinese propaganda movie for the Chinese government, and then he gets roughed up by the same government because he wants to visit an activist. No, what happened was. They needed to try to get his credibility back with the people uh, in the industry. So he goes, oh. he looks like he's trying to visit an activist and they push him around. Uh. Yeah, I, I know what that one is. That's a Santa Catalina one over there, isn't it? I don't know. It sure does kind of look like Yeah, it I think that's a Santa Catalina. Well, and, and they just showed the Batman trailer but Mission Impossible. Well, the that, that is really, uh, the, the Batman trailer shows things that are really improbable. I mean, I, 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 you go see it. Get you go see it. You won't believe it, folks. It, it's actually it, worth just seeing what they're doing. Yeah. It's like, what in the world is that? We actually had some people in there that uh, were basically there to see nothing. They were taking notes on the trailer. So. In France, Hans Carlos the Jackal, another life prisoner. I know. Yeah, they're the, they basically have a judicial system that says you can't just keep adding sentences on the people without a trial, folks. You got to have a trial. Yeah, so what is this, another life prison? Well, because the Carlos the Jackal has killed a lot of people, but you can only, even under under a democracy judicial system, you try a person for each set of crimes they commit. If you want to send him to another, de another time, you got to try him again. They just simply said, okay, what's the bottom of the trial? We'll just simply sentence him to another life imprisonment. You know, you only have one life imprisonment. Suspect in custody after shooting at Chinese consulate in L.A. Yeah, you know, so I don't know why they would do that because now the Chinese are pissed off at the United States as it is. They, they're they basically putting massive tariffs on all American car products going over to China what now. Are they? To teach Obama that they basically are in charge. Well, I mean, he lectured them at that, that money summit, remember? Oh, yeah. I they really that. don't like being lectured by mm -hmm. people like Obama. And I love this. Again, I heard this this morning that... Uh, we, you know, the Chinese government does not like being lectured by someone's servant, is what they called him. Ooh. Yeah. And the small plane crashes in the front yard of Phoenix home one day. I know. Lucky it wasn't more than that. You know, crash. You know, they got streets and stuff, folks. Land in a street, don't land in a house. Provocative author, author Christopher Hutchins dies in 62. I just didn't like. I mean, he's nationally, he's a mainstream author that, uh, author that hates total religion. So, because he hated religion, it made him a big shot. Are you serious? Yeah. The Philippine police rescued four-year-old U.S. boyfriend kidnappers. I know. Well, basically, it means they paid somebody off. If you're rescuing people from those kidnappers, they have a tendency to keep you or kill you. The New York Times CEO stepping down without explanation. Well, because she, okay, let's put it this way. She'd made the statement that uh, that they'd paid off the money they borrowed from the uh, Mexican news, newspaper magnet uh, early, right after 
they declared the second straight $120 million loss. They couldn't possibly have paid him back his money because they're not making any money. Oh. And I think it was probably a bad set of timing saying that the, we've paid the money off and then the very same day they paid the money off, they said they suffered another loss and basically they have to go borrow more money. Could U.S. drivers ever abide by a cell phone ban? No, because they don't pay any attention to the fact they're not supposed to text or talk on the phones now. Or, or what the speed limit is? Don't pay, don't pay any attention to the laws, folks. So. And follow up from FAMU Georgia High School. This is suspend band? I know. It's just uh, uh, it, 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 basically they were they were a little naughty, so they got in trouble. And six Waltons have more wealth than the bottom 30 percent of Americans. Well, which is totally nafty of fabrication because their wealth at the bottom 30 percent, they said it was 50 to 70 trillion dollars. The the value of my, of our value of the family's wealth is 90 90 billion. Do anybody have an idea what a billion what a trillion is? It's a, I think it's a, it's a million billion. Seems rather improbable. It's sort of improbable, yeah. You had to have, a, you know, it, it, but that they try to make it look good because it was, a, it was basically a piece by one of Obama's advisors to make it look the wealth, the wealthy control everything. Now they don't control much of anything. That, okay, you see this out here, folks. This a lot of this stuff is not owned by the wealthy. This is owned by people that have nine to ten jobs and work in garages and stuff. They just look like they have lots of money. And according to Obama supporters, GOP candidates get Obama policies wrong. Yeah, they love that. <laughs> yeah, that he's actually for the middle class. He's pro-government. He's not big regulation. Are you he's, he, I know. I mean, he. You know, all the things that they keep saying is not him. That's somebody else. That's, that, that's Republicans. You know, the Republicans are anti-business. Republicans are are anti-growth. Republic. Yeah. And Obama mark, marks Iraq's wars and with a salute to troops. Well, yeah, basically he told people, you all came over and you all died for nothing because you're going to have to go back again very shortly. And a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Sometimes you wait till it's too late to do what has to be done.